Hello and welcome back to the Blue Generation MOOC. In this module we will offer some tips on how to engage young people, how to make the promotion of the Blue Generation program and give you some advice regarding presentation skills. Your goal will be to promote jobs and training opportunities in the blue economy to different groups of young people under 30. These could be high school students, university graduate, vet students or unemployed people. So first of all, you'll have to know who you will be working with in advance. If possible, get in touch with a responsible teacher, mentor or trainer and learn more about the group you're trying to engage with. Ask about the size of the group, their age, their learning levels and if there are any special needs for these young people. Gather all logistical information by checking if there is access to a computer, a projector or sound equipment. Also, is there an internet or Wi-Fi connection that can be used? And if so, what is the login and password? Finally, agree the date and the time of the presentation and the exact meeting point at the venue. On the agreed day, get to the venue in good time and make sure that all the equipment and materials you need are set up and working properly. Think about and prepare your workspace in order to be seen by all your audience. Also make sure that any presentations using a projector are visible and bright enough to be seen by your students, considering sunlight issues. Depending on the audience, you may need to adapt your presentation and the materials you present. You will need to think carefully about what is appropriate for the different age groups or education levels. Don't make it too easy or too hard and think about the language you will use. Use a vocabulary that will be understood by the audience. Now, here are some tips for starting your presentation. Position yourself so that you can always see the entire audience. A friendly and approachable body language and appearance will help you engage them. Try and keep your gestures natural and relax. Smile as much as possible and make eye contact with your audience. First of all, explain clearly what the lesson or activity is about and try to make the learning relevant to the students by providing a context. Tell the students to ask questions if there is something that is unclear. Also explain the duration of the activity and set a clear finish time. The aim is to engage the young people with your activity. For that, at the beginning of the presentations, you will offer a competition or challenge. We will use the platform Mentimeter.com for this activity. Here you can do an online quiz competition with all of the audience. It is an interactive game where people participate with their mobile phones by entering a code provided by the page. They will see the questions on their mobile phones and will also get the results instantly. Correct answers give an amount of points. There is a leaderboard displayed after each question and you can reward the winner with a small prize. It's a good and fun way to get everyone engaged. The second activity we offer during our promotional visits to get the attention is to play a video we created about the different blue economy sectors. This video engages the audience visually by showing many inspiring images of the different blue economy sectors and is therefore a good introduction into the subject. After that, it's time for your PowerPoint presentation. Here are some tips. Your presentation has to have an appropriate duration. You want to keep it short. If it's too long, you will get people bored and they lose interest. The pace at which you deliver each step is an important factor. You need to ensure you have the young people enough time to understand what you are explaining. Also, don't put too much text on each slide as it makes it tedious to read the whole content. 
If you want to deliver more content, just put the keywords on screen and do the talking yourself. Always try to include as many infographics or pictures as possible and make sure you present your materials clearly and concisely. If these pictures show people working, students can relate and make a real world connection with this activity. A transition is moving from one activity to the next. Getting transitions right gives your activity continuity and a sense of purpose. Transitions are important. After you finish explaining one sector, for example, make sure they understood and you get their attention before you move on to the next sector. When you start a new sector or activity, outline what you will explain and how the two activities are linked. It is also good to explain your overall progression to keep the audience focused and on track. Well-planned transitions will contribute to the consistent flow of learning and satisfy both the presenter and the audience. For the final activity, we suggest to use the online poll system again. Mentimeter offers a well working platform for that. It will be a short questionnaire evaluating the presentation activity and the materials that have been delivered. This interactive method will keep the audience engaged and produce a valuable feedback. When it's time to finish, always briefly recap the information you have just covered in the lesson. If you ask the students questions on what they have learned, it will allow them to reflect on it. Always allow enough time for their questions as well and make sure that no queries remain open. Also, you should warn them beforehand when you are about to finish. Make eye contact with the young people, especially when one is answering a question. Use your body language and facial expression to show you're interested in what they are saying. For example, smile and direct your body towards the young person who is talking. Repeat and possibly paraphrase what the person has said to show you have listened and thought about their contribution. Finally, if you congratulate your students for their efforts or behaviour, it will make them feel proud and will leave a good impression. Make it clear that you appreciate all they did for you during the lesson. There are many other ways to make your presentation a success. Here are some additional tips for your presentations. There are many different aspects of your body language that you can use positively to engage young people. Your posture is really important. Standing up tall, shoulders back, not having your hands in your pockets or folding your arms can help to engage young people. Also, you should think about what you are wearing. Your gestures are also important to bring people in. Another important point is your facial expression. If you smile a lot and use your eyebrows, it can have a big impact in drawing your audience in. Eye contact is crucial to engage the audience. If you encourage them to talk back to you and ask questions, it will boost their confidence. But also be welcoming as well. With the tone of your voice, a positive attitude and a welcoming persona, you can make sure that you are immediately on good ground with your audience. When it comes to the tone of your voice for structured presentations such as talks in schools, a style which is dynamic and rich in tonal range is more likely to capture and sustain the interest of an otherwise passive audience. The level of formality in the language you use also varies with the setting in which the activity is taking place and the age of the young people you're working with. If you know your subject, it earns respect. The audience will be able to tell if you know what you're talking about and can answer any questions they may have. If you don't know the answer to a question, then don't make it up. There is no shame in saying, I will check and come back to you with the answer. With all this knowledge, 
about the different sectors in the blue economy and the different presentation skills, you are almost ready to be a mentor for the Blue Generation program and engage young people in maritime job and training opportunities. After you complete our last module, consisting of a final quiz about the whole content of the course, you will be provided with a toolkit with materials ranging from validation tools to lists of training opportunities or other promotional materials. Good luck.